Greetings to all of our partners across America and around the world. Today, I bring you a message of encouragement in light of what we are witnessing unfold within our nation's capital. I'm hearing parents express their deep concerns. Let me say this to you parents. Don't feel sorry for your children or fear for them because of the world they're growing up in. God created them and called them to live in this exact moment of time. Their life is not a coincidence or an accident. Don't teach them to be fearful and disheartened by the state of the world condition, but hopeful that they can do something positively to impact it. Raise them up to know the power they walk in as children of God. Train them up in the authority of the Word of God. Teach them to walk in faith, knowing that God is in control of our lives. Empower them to know that they can change the world. Every person in all of history has been placed in the time into which they were born through God's sovereign plan. He knew Abraham could pass his test. He knew Moses could handle Pharaoh. He knew that Daniel could handle the lion's den. God is sovereign. He knew David could handle Goliath. He knew that Esther could handle Haman. Children can handle anything because God is with them. He knew Peter could handle persecution. He knew that Paul could handle Rome. He also knows that your child can handle whatever challenge they face in their life because he created them specifically for this time. Don't be afraid for your children, but be honored that God has chosen you to parent the generation that is facing the biggest challenge of our lifetime. Raise up leaders like Abraham, Moses, Daniel, David, Esther, Peter, and St. Paul. God isn't sitting in heaven wringing his hands and wondering the outcome of this crisis. He knew from the day of Genesis that this chaos was coming. God is raising up an army to drive back the darkness by turning on the light of truth to make his glory known over all the earth. Don't let your fear steal the greatness God placed in your children. I know it's hard to imagine them as anything but our children, and we want to protect them from anything that could hurt them. But remember this truth. They were born for such a time as this. They were born for such a time as this. God is with us, and God is in control. May God bless you and encourage you today with this word.